Hello my wasabis! This is Jerby from Couch Wasabi. So today's video will be a beauty video and I'll be sharing with you my thoughts on the new Orobe Ultra White Cream. So this is a product from Thailand. If you've never heard of it, maybe you should stay tuned. Anyway guys, if you're interested to know more about this product, just keep on watching. So Orobe got in touch with me to ask me to review their product a couple of months back. So, I got this maybe two or three weeks ago. Okay, so basically this is how the product looks like with such a big box. I'm not really sure how much this costs, so maybe I'll put the price down here. Okay, so it's a very straightforward product. There's nothing else inside but the product. And it says here that you just have to apply this in the morning and in the evening and avoid your eye areas. Let's check on the ingredients. It says here... Okay, so the box highlights a couple of ingredients. And I would assume these are their key ingredients to give your face that whitening and moisturizing effect. So it has cithereal olivate. I think that's olive oil or something. Ascorbyl tetraesopalmitate. I would assume that's something related to vitamin C or citrus. And then, buters, buterosferum. Buter. And then, shea butter. Okay, so I'm not really sure why they'd have to put all those scientific names. It's just harder for the consumer to understand what those are. But I guess it just makes the product sound more scientific. But um, yeah, I just hope next time they would change it into a like a more common name so people would understand what's in it. Alright, so it says here, Aroma Ultra White Cream is a whitening cream which smoothens and brightens the skin, suitable for all skin types. Ultra White nourishes the skin and reduces the appearance of skin darkening and brown spots. So this is, whitening is something really big in Thailand. And um, a lot of cosmetic advances are from Thailand and I guess from Korea. And um, yeah, so I, I, I thought that this is worth a try but then again we have to keep in mind that whitening is something not instant it's something that you need to use for a minimum of two months to six months before you can see the effects unless it's like peeling so it's a very superficial way of lightening your skin wherein you will just slow off all those dead skin cells and reveal the younger whiter skin but then again those would normally take effect in a short period of time because your skin would eventually accumulate and go back to its original color. You can't really use exfoliants for the rest of your lives because it's gonna let your skin become too thin which is also not good. So the maximum amount of time wherein you can use your exfoliating products for example AHA, BHAs, unless they're like super duper whooper gentle but I still don't recommend this is that maybe three days to a week and then you have to stop for a couple of weeks and then you know go on with the cycle this is a cream so this cream promises you to have lighter and whiter skin let's check out the ingredients the ingredients include water cyclometicone which is a silicone ascorbyl tetrasopalmitate so that I think that's vitamin C sorbitan olivate so that's related to olive oil, I would assume. Cetosteryl alcohol. I think it's an emulsifier. Cetereal olivate. Isononyl isononanoate. Butisoperum parki, which is shea butter. Glyceryl sterate. Peg 100 serate. Squalene. Imidazolidinurea. Imidazolidinil. Urea, methylparaben, propylparaben, and BHT. Okay, methylparaben and propylparaben are your preservatives to keep your product last longer. And then, I think one of the ingredients that I would like to highlight here is that this product has squalene. So squalene is something that you add into your products to give you um, optimum moisturizing effects. So squalene is also an ingredient found in um, keels. It's nice that they have squalene here. So you're sure that it gives you moisture. 
And um, I guess that's the primary effect that I've noticed when I was using this. It instead of I don't really notice the whitening effect just yet, simply because I'm not really that obsessed in whitening myself. In fact, um, whenever I have the chance, I like applying on fake tan. I feel that my my face is a little darker than my skin, but luckily, medyo pantay siya ngayon in this video. But um, I maybe because I feel that my I'm very acidic, so my face sometimes turns a shade darker than the rest of my body. So I like putting on fake tan to sort of even them out, especially when I'm wearing, especially during summer when I'm wearing um, spaghetti straps and everything. So just everything is more pantai. Um, I don't really notice the whitening effect because I'm not really obsessed in whitening my skin. But the effect that I notice from this product is that I feel that it moisturizes my skin, which I feel what my skin needs right now. In fact, most of my beauty or skincare products that I invest on these days are targeted towards moisturizing my skin and keeping all the hydration in. Because hydration is very important if you want to preserve the youthfulness and the life of your skin. So I tend to buy a lot of skincare products targeted for hydration, for moisture, and you have to be very smart about this because we live in the Philippines and it's a little warm out here, it's a little humid at times. So if you buy a skincare product that's too thick, um, it will tend to clog your pores and maybe result to breakout. So be careful with that. I normally stick to gel type skincare products or something that's very, very light. I don't really like using heavy creams or oils on my face unless the oil is something like jojoba or something that's really light on the skin. Um, I do feel that Arome is a little on the thick side, so I don't really like the feeling of this. So here's what it looks like. It's not really that thick. I've tried a lot of other thicker here, let me just... I've tried other thicker creams, but you will really feel the product on your skin. And if you are someone who commutes on a day-to-day -day basis, if you are someone who is exposed to like the heat and the outdoor sun, I don't think this will work for you, simply because I feel that the product is... A little it sits on your skin to be honest the product see the product sits on your skin even if you try to like spread it between your fingers you will feel the layer of product on your skin and it takes like the whole day for it to be absorbed so I really like putting this down my neck because your neck needs some caring too so I like putting this down my neck like this like so and then just spreading it upwards you can also apply it down your um, hair your collarbones so because the skin in that area needs a little pampering too those are the parts that people normally neglect so your neck and your hair up to your collarbone these are the things that you should apply your skincare products too and when you do this on your neck when you apply this on your neck it actually feels really nice it feels smooth it feels hydrated I love the feeling on my neck I just don't like the feeling of Arome whitening cream on my face because I feel that it's too thick for my face if you know what I mean but down your neck it feels so velvety smooth it feels I love it on my neck more than my face so I mean, whatever works, right? Um, if you are someone who stays inside an air-conditioned room for the entire day, I think this will work for you. Um, it will, especially if you have very, very dry skin because you're enclosed in an air-conditioned room. This, I think, would work really well for you. 
But for me, I move a lot and I go around the city a lot. I just don't like it on my face. But it works well on like my neck and here. Or maybe down your knees and your elbows. Because those are the things that sometimes get dry. And you'd want a whitening product for them. This works well for that. Now, for the whitening effect, it's it's really hard to judge that as of this moment. But then again, this has squalene. And squalene is really great in retaining moisture or keeping the hydration on your skin. So, in that sense, anything that darkens, for example, your knees and your elbows, are usually caused by dryness. Unless it's over exposure under the sun. Um, it's usually caused by dryness and friction. So by using this product, applying it on your knees and your elbows, it really helps retain moisture. It really helps to keep it smooth. It really helps to somewhat lighten your elbows and knees. Especially, I've seen some people who have ashy elbows and ashy knees. Kasi sobrang dry yon. And this is what you can use for that. It's really amazing for that. Um, Although I think this is targeted for the face because it says in the direction apply cream to face in the morning and evening I honestly prefer to use this on my body Simply because the consistency is too thick for my face, but then again, this is me I have a combination skin my t-zone is a little on the oily side and Sometimes I get dry patches down here. So it's hard to have one product be applicable for my entire face. Given that, I really love using this for my elbows, for my neck, for here. And you really feel that it's really like smooth and I mean, you know, there's a product there. So you'd really feel that it's there. Anyway guys, I guess that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed my quick video and review or my thoughts on Arome Ultra White. This is not really available in the Philippines though. I think this is only available in Thailand. So if you have friends there or if you're planning to go there and you're looking for a really nice moisturizing cream for yourself, grab one. You should try it. Um, it doesn't really smell anything. It's, it smells clean. So it's virtually scentless. Which I like because I hate um, facial products that are too laden with synthetic fragrances. I feel that it adds to the irritation. So this one is great. It's just that I feel that the product is too thick for my face. But then again, that's very subjective. It may work for you. Um, if not, it's still a good product to be applied on your body. So there you go. It's really nice. There's no smell. By the way, before I end this video, I want to invite everyone to please join me on my next essential oil workshop this December 15 at Gordo's Mega Mall. I have a few slots left, so please join me. And then I'll be taking a short break. And then I've already announced my schedule for January. So I do have another Gordo's workshop. I do have my shampoo bar workshop. It's all posted on Catty Corn Dreams. I'll put the link down here and down in the description box. And then I'm also inviting everyone from Cebu, please join me this February 2 of 2019 at Green Shelf Cebu. So I'll be having my first essential oil workshop there. I hope to see everyone there. Please come, I'd love to meet you. And then for Davao, I'll be seeing you on February 23. That's my essential oil workshop. You're already accepting signups. I will also put everything down below in the description box. There's only one link. Go to our link tree link and then all my workshops are there. You can join whichever workshop you want to join. Um, except for Gordos because you have to sign up with Gordos for that. And then I also have my shampoo bar workshop in Davao on February 24 of 2019. Registration is already open. You can sign up as early as now and enjoy the early bird rate. So I hope to see you guys there and uh, see you next year and Merry Christmas. Bye!